People will travel far for a good cheeseburger and a good story. And no spot proves that to be true quite like one restaurant here in central Illinois. And that's because this spot is both a burger joint and an entire town. CI Living last visited Moonshine Store in 2011, and a lot has changed since then. New owners, more customers, but the important things remain the same. And CI Living's Erin Valley has the story. It's kind of a, a secret spot, right? So a lot of people know about it, but not too many people know where it is. They don't know where you walk in, and it's like, wow. How many cheeseburgers from here have you eaten in your lifetime? I think this one makes uh, 967. Give the people a glorious, greasy burger. And they will travel far. Some will come by bike. Is this your definition of a cheeseburger in paradise? For sure, for sure. I mean, the only thing that uh, could top it off, maybe cold beer. But uh, that, that would be frowned upon on two wheels. I don't know if I carried it, it might fall apart. Others pull down a triple stack for the bragging rights. Gotta eat the whole thing and he can get a t-shirt. And a souvenir. He ate the whole thing. As for co-owners Lisa and Jackie Tuttle, they never could have guessed the burger joint their mother-in-law opened in 1982 would become such a sensation that some would visit by helicopter. I had a guy ask me the other day if we could buy part of that field and they put an uh, air landing strip in. It's like, yeah, because the helicopter pad used to be in the corner, but they decided to put sweet, sweet corn, corn in there. So we lost, yeah, we lost our helicopter. We pad. had a few that would fly in. Lisa and Jackie have run Boonshine since 2016. After their father-in-law, Roy Lee, passed away, his wife, Helen, hung up her spatula for good. They lived here the whole time they owned it from 82 until she moved out in 16. While the second floor of the restaurant is no longer their in-law's apartment, store population two still hangs proudly from Moonshine's front porch. We're a close family. Yeah, we've always been. We've always been I mean, a close we're, family. We're actually cousins and married brothers. We just want to try to keep it what how Helen built it. Yeah. She's the one that brought it to where it is, and we just hope that we can keep it yeah. at that point. Mm -hmm. Of course, that means honoring Moonshine's few quirky rules. Don't bother asking for lettuce on your Moon Burger, because you won't get any. And you better get in line early, because the grill still shuts off famously in the afternoon. Just as Helen intended. What yeah. are the things that she did really well that you guys wanted to make sure stayed the same? Shutting the doors at 12.30. <laughs> that didn't change none. And the quality did yeah. not change. Fresh, hand patty burgers sourced from southern Indiana. The only time their meat was ever frozen was during the pandemic when they were forced to stock up. Still, a few things have changed. Lisa and Jackie added a walk-up window. They've expanded the restaurant's outdoor seating. Most of all, they're cranking out more burgers than ever before. In the fall of 2003, Bill Geist from CBS Sunday Morning ran a story on the joint. Jackie says she'll never forget the impact the TV spot had on her family's store. I remember in, in November, there was like 200 and some was her record. And I remember that summer, we broke it like every Saturday, it'd be 500, it'd be 600, okay. and then it would go to 700. Yeah. And then now our record's 3,362. Yeah. Countless hamburgers and 38,000 Facebook likes later. The little general store out in the cornfields has still kept its heart. And I will say, if you're doing moonshine right, you've probably made some friends here and have cozied up next to them at a table. <laughs> and now it's finally time for me to try the burger. Like the old Irish saying goes. That's good. There are no strangers here, only friends you haven't yet met. <laughs> it looks so good. The owners say they'd like to add rain coverage to their outdoor space in the future. And if you would like to stay up to date with Moonshine, we've got you connected to their Facebook page online at CILiving.tv.